Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy DQ. Today, I'm introducing a new segment that I'd like to do on this channel where I'm going to be reviewing um, or analyzing lyrics of songwriters, musicians, artists out there. Um, I don't know if many of you know this. I don't really talk about this too much, but I myself am a songwriter. I've actually written over 300 songs in my life. Um, I don't do it as much as I used to back in high school. That was really when I, I started my freshman year all the way through my pretty much my whole high school career. Uh, instead of paying attention to class, I'd be writing down song lyrics. I'm not proud of it, but that's that's what I was doing. So I don't know if that necessarily makes me qualified uh, to be reviewing other songwriters and artists um, lyrics, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyways because I think it's a, a fun little idea. Instead of just reacting to songs or something like that, actually maybe uh, d delve a little bit into, um, you know, the lyrics and the meanings behind some of these lyrics. So today we're going to be talking about a song that I really, really love, to be honest with you. It's my favorite Metallica song from my favorite Metallica album. The song is the intro track to the album. Uh, the album and justice for all this song is called blackened and uh yeah i can't wait so let's get into it guys let's do it awesome way to start an album right here back a little bit look at these lyrics here um blacken is the end winter it will send throwing all you see into obscurity the death of mother earth so obviously it seems like our boy james here is talking about is talking about the end of the world um you know if if uh our mother mother earth dies then we're all we're all screwed um blacken uh winter will send i'm thinking he's talking about like some kind of uh fallout some kind of atomic fallout maybe or just like a blackout um atomic winter but let's uh get a little deeper into it because i don't want to just talk about the lyrics and the meanings i want to also break down the structures here i never really took into consideration the structures set up of this song lyrically which as you can see here we got a a b b c c a A. And what I mean by that is if you look at the last word of each of the lines, you know, end, send, that's a that's a rhyme, that's A. C obscurity, another rhyme, that would be B. Mother Earth, rebirth, C, and then we go back to the beginning here with end and then mend. So you got A A B B C C a A. Now normally in songs you'll see something like A B A B or even A B C B. This is a story all about how 
My life got flipped, turned upside down. A, B, C, D. Um, so yeah, I freaking, I think that that's a really cool way to do it. And that's honestly something I love about songwriting, you guys, is that you can, you can kind of just throw that to the wind. Obviously, um, certain structures are more catchy than others, easier, easier to flow. Um, but you can honestly structure your lyrics however you want. And even sometimes when you match just uh, the right amount of syllables, you can kind of get away with not even rhyming or words that if you were to, you know, break them down, it's like, oh, that doesn't necessarily rhyme with that. But the way that it's being said, and if it has the right amount of syllables, it, you don't even notice that they don't actually rhyme. So let's go back just a couple seconds. So we got the same structure here, but let's go over this. So blistering of earth, terminate its worth, deadly nicotine and kills what might have been, callous frigid chilled, nothing left to kill, never seen before, breathing never more. So he's just kind of generalizing right here, this this specific verse. I, I think he was, I think they were, whoever wrote this, the lyrics to this song, I think they were just trying to stick to that same structure at this point. But it's the same theme, you know, death, blackening. Um, you guys hear that? Fucking seagulls jamming out to Metallica with me over here. All right. And then we're going into the chorus here. I always love the way that you come in, fire to begin with big dance of the dead. It's like, just just fire. It's like, you don't know if he's shouting like fires and like uh you know gunfire like fire or just you know the burning <laughs> burning it all down. Color our world black and that line right there. I always thought that that was an awesome line. Color color our world blackened. Um, you know the sun the sun fades away. Uh, the the world freaking ends as we know it, and uh, that's a that's a really cool, it's a really cool um, like metaphor to use. Color our world. So as we can see here, he's repeating uh, the you know the background vocals are repeating what he's saying, and every every word here spoken has has so much meaning behind it. Opposition, contradiction, premonition, compromise. Now this this song was written in I believe 1988 or 89. It was it was something like that. That's around the time the album was released. Think about that today in 2021. Opposition, 
contradiction, premonition, compromise. Now, compromise being the big one. You, uh, I don't want to get too, I don't want to get too uh, crazy, but basically, we're almost, we're almost all compromised at some point in this day and age. Agitation, violation, mutilation, the planet dies. And, and, you know, these are things, these are things that were being talked about back then. And we're still talking about them 30, 30 odd years later. So, um, you know, the planet thankfully isn't dead, but I think I don't even necessarily... Like, he, he does reference Mother Earth, and I think, you know, on a grand scale, he is talking about the planet as a whole. But I think, you know, I interpret that personally as maybe, you know, us as a planet. We. We the planet. All right, see, uh, this is why I wanted to do this too because, you know, I'll normally be listening to this in my car, like I already said, or, or a lot of these songs that I'm gonna be covering, you know, unless you actually do this and look up the lyrics, you know, you kind of hear, you hear um, your own interpretation of it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I did not realize this last line here. It says, "True death of life." That that honestly kind of changes it for me in, in a better way. I think that that's I think that that's really cool. Will Will you shut up? Oh my god. Anyways, let's uh let's move on. So. Expectations, liberation, the population laid to waste. That line right there has always stuck with me so hard. It's like the end of everything, guys, is basically what he's talking about. He's talking about the end of everything as we know it, as, as a whole.
Come on now. Come on now. So you guys know, it is so hard to be sitting here right now, not not singing along with this. So you know, smoldering decay, taking her take her breath away. Millions of our years and minutes disappear. That I know I keep saying, oh, this line, this line, this line, but that line right there, millions of our years and minutes disappears, is my favorite line of this entire song because it's such a it's such a poetic, like, truth, to be honest with you. Um, think about, you know, dinosaurs, whatever, or even just, even just our lives. Each individual may not be millions of years, whatever, it, it, a lifetime is a lifetime, but evolution, you know, we, we were, we're here because of a caveman that was here, you know, um, over like you know thousands of years ago and that's carried down to us and even before us and maybe even after us humans the world has and probably will continue on but if we end it, it or when it ends it's just gonna it's gonna take minutes it's only gonna be minutes and then and then it's all gone so I we got I gotta hear that again. I, I love that friggin' I love that one. He switched it up on you guys. You thought he was gonna. You thought he was gonna say the same, same thing he's been saying this whole time. Nope. Switched it up. He says, "Fire is the outcome of hypocrisy, darkened potency, and the exit of humanity will color our world blackened." Now, it might it might take you a second, but I'm sure if you really tried to think about it, you could you could find some hypocrisy out there. Like I said, even though the song was written 30 years ago still happening and i'm not talking about your neighbor being a hypocrite or or your your dad you know i'm talking about hypocrisy of those in charge those who make the rules set the rules for us the ones who have the power to fire the uh, there you go with their darkest potency now I love this right here, cause so this whole time he's been fire, is, is the whipping dance of the dead, blackened is the end, right? So you got A, B, B, and then color our world blackened would be C. So, it was, so this whole time was like A, B, B, C, and then here, fire, outcome of hypocrisy. So A, B, 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 C. And just that extra B, just that extra rhyme, hypocrisy, potency, that would have been enough. Is the outcome of hypocrisy, darken, potency, color our world black, and that would have followed the same structure as all the choruses beforehand. But nope, just throwing in that extra B in the exit of humanity, color our world blackened. It just, it honestly adds the extra little punch that it needs at the end there to kind of, to kind of hit it home, drive it home, you know, just back up a little bit because I love this part and it's almost over, so.
Alright guys, so that was me analyzing the lyrics to Blackened by Metallica off of And Justice For All. Um, I definitely kind of enjoyed this more than I was even expecting to, so I'll probably be putting more of these out in the future. Let me know. Again, this isn't, uh, this isn't something I'm going to be doing to just react to songs. I'm going to be doing in-depth dives into the lyrics both their meanings or my interpretations of their meanings and the structures. So if you guys have anything that you would want me to lyrically review, drop a comment down below, give some suggestions. Um, until then, I'll catch you all next time. Thank you very much.